Hey, I'm Sam from Kibble Equipment and I'm here at Tech Expo sitting in a new ADAR 410 EVT tractor, electric variable transmission, which is a brand new option for the 410 horsepower ADAR series tractors. Now this tractor is also outfitted with a Command Pro control option that puts all of the controls that you would normally have to do on an armrest, puts them right on the handle so that your hand does not have to move off that handle to control the tractor or the implement. And it also adds a significant amount of motion control and functionality that we do not have uh, in the normal IVT transmission. Now to initiate forward movement with a Command Pro handle, you press the activation button on the back of the handle and then move the handle in a forward position. That will initiate forward movement. The further you push the handle forward, the more the tractor is going to accelerate. If you press it all the way to a detent position forward, that will then take the tractor to a max speed. Conversely, if you move this handle backwards, that will slow the tractor down and decelerate it. And if you pull the handle all the way back to a detent position, that will bring you to a zero speed. Now, once we've initiated forward movement, we can then jump to one of our two set speeds based on which set speed is lit on the handle if we bump the handle to the right. That will take you to your set speed. To switch set speeds, you would then bump that button. It will take you to your F2 or back to F1. To disengage out of your active set speeds, you would then just move the handle backwards to decelerate or accelerate. Now there's a few different ways to adjust your set speeds. Obviously you can do it in the display and the transmission settings. Adjust your settings there for each of your F1, F2, and max speed settings. Otherwise you can utilize the scroll wheel to adjust those speeds. If you're not in an active set speed and you use the scroll wheel, that will adjust your maximum speed. If you are in a set speed, you can then use the scroll wheel to adjust that up or down. Or if you are at a speed that is not your current active set speed, and you would like to change one of your F1 or F2 speeds, you can hold the button and that will change the speed for your selected set speed button. Now the other orange button on the Command Pro handle is your transmission aggressiveness setting. There are three settings of aggressiveness that control how fast we accelerate and decelerate when we move the handle forward and back. One light is the least aggressive, three lights would be your most aggressive setting. Now I showed you how to activate your set speeds once you've initiated forward motion by moving the handle to the right. But if you move the handle to the left, we can get into what we call inching mode, which is a really precise proportional movement front and back. It's handy, especially for hooking up to implements. Now a quick way to change directions with Command Pro is if you've initiated forward movement, you would push the activation button on the back of the handle and then bump that handle to the left. That will stop you and push you back in the opposite direction. Now there are 11 reconfigurable buttons on the Command Pro handle. There are four of these rocker style switches that can be used for an SCV or a three point function and they have a raise and a lower and then they have a detent at the top and the bottom that can be configured to be detent or it can be utilized as a float function. Now there are also three reconfigurable buttons that can be utilized for things like auto track or PTO engage but it depends on the operation. If you want to reconfigure those that's done in the control setup and if you want to save one as a preset, we have one saved for a tillage tool as true set. Those can be saved and loaded from this screen as well. Now there's also a park and a neutral button on a Command Pro armrest. We would utilize the neutral function for unfolding a planter, for example, where the tractor needs to be able to free roll. We also have the park button. Those will be lit when those are engaged, but those are both located at the base of the Command Pro handle. Now those are the basics of Command Pro control putting all of the implement and tractor functions that you need to utilize repeatedly on your handle at your fingertips at all times rather than having to move your hand around the armrest. And it also gives you a level of motion control that no other transmission control option has.